because you believed. All right. So, okay, so what you see is this demon, very large demon in the middle of this room. He shoots okay. both of you guys, and he says, I have a task for you. Okay. We'll a do task? Uh-huh. What, what, what task would that be? You need to bring me something. Okay. I like makes it make okay. <laughs> Is it a That's seed okay. for a for a uh, tree? Um. He goes. No. Oh, okay. Never mind then. Um. He goes. <laughs> he says, "No, you must bring this to me." That's all he said. And oh, crap sticks. Let's see this. Let's see how this works. Oh, okay. Boom. And kadoo. 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 Oh. Nice. Wow. Okay. All right. You're inside a small room. All right. This is out of Adventure Anthology 3, just warning you. Um, so he places you inside a small room. You don't know where you are, but there is a weird thing in this room. Ready? Ready. Okay, here we go. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. A lacquered man sits in the center of the room and looks in death as he did in life. He's dressed in brown clothes. He's neither arrayed with implements of war nor resplendent jewels. His four arms are holding a golden sphere, and his grin is both inviting and challenging. And he's in the center of the room? Center of the room, sitting in a chair, he has four arms, and he's holding on to a gold sphere. Okay. Ollie is going to immediately um, pull out his sword with continual light. Okay. Hold it aloft. I don't know what your spellage is right now. I have no idea what you guys are going on. Well, I guess I should write this. I, 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 I'm, just, I'm just holding my sword high, so... Oxen can look around and tell me what the hell to do. <laughs> All right. So oh the demon put us in this room, right? Yeah. yeah. But he didn't say what to get him. No. He, he just put you in front of there. And he didn't say how long we had. So I assume you guys, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do this real quick. You have sleep, sleep, charm person, hold, per, portal, dark, phantasmal force, web, and fireball. No. What do you have? Nothing. Really? Uh, you've been replenished of everything you see right here. <laughs> oh, okay. This, this, this doesn't bode well, Mick. All right. You, yeah. you, got, you, got, you got three cold, cure light wounds and a whole person. <laughs> Actually, no, you don't believe that. You're just a fighter. You don't get crap. Right. Right. But I'll but I'll but I'll take the three cure light wounds. You're person. not getting anything. No, you got nothing. <laughs> you're just you got nothing, man. It's horrible. But there you go. Yeah, you're sitting in this room just like that. I got one go. and a half things of healing jerky. Oh my god. Oh yeah, you get healing jerky. Yeah, there you go. Yeah, you're just sitting in this room and you got this guy with the gold sphere in his hand. Okay. Um uh, for the looks of it's probably the sphere. Yeah, but the question it's got, is it's ornamental, it's got filigree patterns basically carved all over it. It's extreme craftsmanship. It's probably worth the fun. Yeah, but so this is like a kind of a statue, but like human size. But no, it's there's a dude who looks like he's been preserved, like taxidermied, holding a golden sphere. Taxidermied in bronze. 
or uh, what? He's, yeah. He's, he looks like he's been, like, coded. Um, and there's, of course, a door. And you look at it, it's it's an interesting door from, from your point of view. It, it seems like just a normal latch door, but you can see like it's some of, it's cut out like in the brick-like formation just by looking at it. You can tell you're on the other end of a secret door. Let's put it that way. Yeah. So my question, um, Oxen, do you want me to touch the orb? Because <laughs> I'll touch it. <laughs> can we touch the glittery ball? <laughs> Do you want me to touch the guy? Can, can we can we tie up the dude? Well, he's, he's not getting... alive. It's like a statue. It's bronze. Yeah. I mean, you could you yeah, you could tie him up. Yeah, I don't see. Yeah, if that's what you want to tie the statue, yes. But he's a statue. I mean, it's like he's well. I I statues. I guess magical statues move. That's true. But I don't know if we, whatever we'd use to tie him up would hold him. But I've got I've got rope. I got fifty feet of rope. Yeah, fifty feet bound around his legs. That that would hold him. I would okay. think at least for a while. If he starts to move and freak out, well, maybe I don't have to use all fifty. Can I just can I cut like? Why are you gonna cut it? Why cut it? Why cut it? Okay, all right. Hey, I'm with you, brother. All right. So um, so I'm I'm gonna start I'm gonna start tying up his legs really tight. When as the rope goes around his legs, does he move at all? Does he no, move? nothing. It's like a statue. Yeah, it doesn't I, move at all. I think the question really is: Can I pry the orb out of his hands? Oh, it's just resting in his hands. You can totally lift it out. Oh, yes. Do you want me to lift the orb out of his hands? Yes. Okay. Yes, I do. I'm happy to do it. Okay, so because our only light source right now has to be my my um sword that has that Mick has continual light on. So I'm going to put that on the ground okay. and then with both hands I'm going to grab the orb and lift it. Okay. You do see uh, two little spherical areas uh, like circle areas on both sides of the sphere but you just lift it up. You can see the little like circles on the side but you lift it up generally without touching them and it's totally liftable. You feel it is solid gold because it's heavy. Okay. Very heavy. I'm going to roll my eyes the back of my head and I'm going to, uh, no, I'm just kidding. No. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, hey, okay. Um, then I'm going to, can, can, will this fit in my backpack? How big uh, is it? Uh, yeah, it'll fit. It's huge, but it'll fit. That's for sure. You know, I actually have a large sack. I'm going to put it in a large sack by itself. Okay. And then I'm going to tie that large sack to my backpack. Okay. It's very heavy, but it'll hold. It'll hold. All right. You got this spear in the back of you right now. Yeah. Of course, right. you're like just in a single room. The idea yeah. is to somehow figure out where to go from here. All right. Well, the hard part's done, buddy. All right. <laughs> now <I'll> get home. <laughs> um, my my thing is, I mean, maybe we could sell this thing. Maybe it's worth a lot of money. That's it. Mm. All right. So there looks like there's a door. Can I investigate the door to see if I'm I'm looking for secret traps or things i'm not a no, thief, no, it's a way. secret door but you're on the other side of it oh gotcha um all right so statue's not doing anything at all huh? no statue's just standing there just sitting there it's sitting on a throne huh. kind of sort of no okay i'm gonna I i'm guess... gonna i'm gonna untie Here, right? my rope i'm gonna take my rope back okay it's just a statue just sitting there. Nothing. Mm -hmm. I wonder what the demon's going to do with this thing. He just wants the gold ball? I, I guess. I, I don't know, but, um, you know. Hey. 
if the demon will give us I think somebody offered us five thousand gold pieces. It was that reverend. We we never got paid from the reverend. We left him in the web. Yeah, he's scoundrel, isn't he? He's dead. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> right now, you got you set him on fire. He's dead, man. Yeah. You burned him alive. And whatever scroll he had. Did you guys have the scroll? Yeah. Oh, okay. Okay. Yeah, we oh, did. yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, without doubt, yeah. Okay. And I got a damn it. Okay. Well, that was just the idea of getting back to where you came from. Sure. I guess it'll be the hard part. Well, I don't I don't remember setting the, the thing on fire. I remember webbing him, but probably the demon will kill him. Because he's webbed. Wait, wait, wait. I thought, no, I thought, uh, I thought this demon got up the gold, right? Huh? Demon's gonna want this gold ball, right? Right. Yeah. Okay, and you got it in your bag, right? I do. All right. I'm gonna cast darkness on the gold ball. Okay. Okay, it'll knock out his light spell because you're sitting right next to it. Huh? Oh, it'll knock out the continual light spell? Yeah. So then we'll be in the dark. Huh? Just on the ball that's in the bag? If we put the darkness on the, the gold ball and then put the ball in the bag, would it still make everything dark? Well, now you think about it, just like a light would be covered, that's a good point. I guess the okay. dark is, yeah, I guess the dark is concealed in the bag with the ball. That makes sense. So, so, so also, I'll, I will take it out of the um, large sack. So you sure. heard, but you had that spell? Continual dark? I don't think it's continual. I think it's, it's darkness. Dark. You don't have that. Oh, it has dark right there. Okay, it lasts for two hours, right? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. It'll be long enough for us to pull off our ruse. Okay, I got it. All right, nice. Okay. Come on. I don't. I don't know what's going on, but here we go. We'll see what happens here. All right. All right. So we All got right. it dark, I just, right? I checked Bag, it right? off on your sheet of things, so you could just tell. I just yeah. put a scratch through it, so you could see so, what's going on. Let's go back to this thing. Go ahead. Uh, so then I'm going to put it back in the sack after the okay. darkness on it. All right. Fair enough. Cool. Now what do you boys want to do? Wait, let's go back out the door. Okay. To meet that demon again. The door easily opens. Okay. And what you see is a hallway. Uh, sort of looks like, well, like this. Well. Wait. Oh, I, I can't get this right. There we go. Here we go. The hallway. Here we go. That's um, no. I'm gonna. I'm gonna smell. Does anything? Oh, I guess I will. We're going north. There's no reason to go south. I guess. No, it's the end of a quarter. You guys are at. Did I send you this link? I sent you the link. Yeah, you yeah, you put it in the chat. Shoot it again, man. Just be here. What? I got, uh, yeah, I got it. You got it? Okay, cool. All right. Okay. Yeah, I'm gonna, it's a, yeah, it's just a quarter. I'm gonna step out in the hallway. Uh, um, so Oxen can stand behind me. Okay. And face the north with my sword of continual light out. Okay. And my magic warhammer in the other hand. Oh, okay. All right. All right. So with sword in the left hand and warhammer in right hand, I'm going to advance forward 15 feet. Lightly, okay. tap, lightly tapping on the ground with my foot every now and then. Okay. I mean, you don't see anything that seems devastatingly weird, I guess. Um, you do notice uh, as you're getting, you start to smell something. Something yeah. of a high high hemoglobin content. All right. Yeah. Does that make sense? 
I'm smelling something. A lot of blood. Yeah, it smells like blood. Yeah. I've smelled that before. Yeah. Okay. Um, well, you hear something snort towards the end of a hallway. It's away from you, probably by 10, 20, 30, 40, 50 feet. I'm going to... You. I'm going to... Um, take the, the the sword with continual light and i'm going to like yeah. put it um in the scabbard like about halfway to sort of okay. dim the light a little bit okay, okay. so i'm uh, so now i'm now i'm sort of using the scabbard like a uh like a hood like a hooded lantern as much as i okay. can okay um and i'm going to try to um uh come up a little bit i'm telling oxen to watch out because there's something up here snorting and um i'm gonna take i mean we gotta go this 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 direction so okay um i got a lot of hit points for for just this purpose uh all of a sudden you hear the fluttering of wings like a dragon wing Ah, well, it sounds big. A big wing. All right. Snorting, blood, bats. All right. Yeah. I know. Okay. All right. Um, Giant bats. You can't ever tell what's going on. Then uh, you you hear something that says, um, who goes there? Who goes there? Oh. Um. Hmm. Uh. Oh, I look back at Oxen to see if he wants to answer. Okay. Here, but mere circus performers. Lost in our travels. Okay. All right. Um, all of a sudden, something walks out in front of you. I have to oh, nice. clear this thing so you can see what's going on. All right. Uh, Let's take you out. Let's do this. Boom. All right. Something turns around and steps forward walks towards you nice. okay it is something that looks like this oh and Reading. it says it says release the sphere well, greetings and salutations what manner may you be i don't think i've seen your kind before i'm protector of this holy crypt and you have stolen from it you are protectors of the holy crypt how does one get into the holy crypt he demands again for you to release the sphere he knows you take it we we don't have anything man look look i'm gonna start like opening up our bags and like showing them we got nothing you open up all your bags yeah, be like, look, look, we don't have anything yet. I don't know what sphere you're talking about. What is this? And I start like with small pouches and stuff like that too. So it, it's like I don't know what size he's referring to. You guys both do a saving throw right now. This will be interesting to see what happens here. Do a save. Right. Save. A save. A save. What's a save for you guys? Oh, it would be a 10 and an 11. 11 for Mick, 10 for Mike. We'll see what you guys yeah. do. Roll it. We'll see what happens here. Well, we bit it. We did it. You both 13. passed? 13 and 15, okay. yeah. All right. He holds his holy mace up, and it beckons light, trying to blind you both. You both raise your arms and, so you both look at each other. You know this guy has a blinding light that's shimmering out from this mace that he has. And he goes, you are an abomination. You have come here to desecrate this tomb. 
Um, oh my God, you're standing right next to something. It should be revealed. Sorry about that. Let me do this real quick. Um, yeah, so he he holds this thing up and he um, basically is telling you to drop what you, he knows you have it. It's not whether or not you can conceal it at this point. This is what he's, he's saying to you. He's holding this mace up. I mean, he's not striking you. Yeah. He's trying to strike fear into you, and neither one seemed to be scared of what he's doing. You guys passed the save. So there you go. Yeah. 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 Um, I Just out of curiosity, what does the sphere do? <laughs> Why is it so holy? Uh, Why would anybody want it? And where would it be if we did want it? He just, once again, says, you do not know what you touch. He says, you cannot release what has been captured within it. I don't Let even it know go. Where, I don't even know where I am. Hey, 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 hey. I'm trying to talk on Ollie's yeah. cloak. Whatever. And it's like, um, maybe, you know, or most friends the other guy can't hear. Okay. Maybe we should just, maybe we should just give it up. I was just kind of agreeing with the demon because we didn't have any spells and we're trapped in a room with them, but we're kind of like away from them now. So okay. do we really want the fear. No, no, I don't. Hey, okay, so um, tell them the story. Yeah. Hey, my name's Ollie. What's your name? Um, he makes no inclination to reveal his name. Okay. Um, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna call you wingy. All right. Wingy. All right. Um, cause man, wingy, you got, wingy, wingy, wingy. Uh, man, you got, you got, you got, and you got some calves wing calf. All right. Yeah. My God. All right. Okay. So, so wingy, um, here's a story. All right. We're on our way to the Cyprus. We, 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 we have the Cyprus heart. We need to take this to the Scythian swamp, right? We come across this guy that needs help and us being kind of nice fellows, we help this family out. But then the family has this um, reverend, Reverend Pennington, and they're turning into wolves, uh, werewolves, and they want to go to the tomb of the fallen light. So we take him to the tomb of the fallen light. Then after we go to the tomb of the fallen light, we get the thing to save his wife. We go back to save his wife. His wife is dead already, and there's a demon there. The demon's about to kill us, but the demon says he wants us to go get something. All I know is now we're down in this hallway. Does that make sense to you? Doesn't make sense to me, but if we're not supposed to take this thing, I, I put the large sack on the ground, and I know it has a darkness spell on it, but I uncover it. I don't know what happens at this point. We, we don't want to help no demon. We just don't want to die. Yeah. And, man, you're bright. Mr. Bright Wingy Calf Guy, you. Man, just turn the lights down a little bit. And then he, he asks, why is it in darkness? He says, it's been tainted. You have tainted it with magic. Well, I'm not talking about with that. That's where it looked when we got it. Well, he, the old dude, I, what it looked like I never scratched that car. <laughs> you know, oh, I my, awesome. what you never heard of the great masterful magician Oxen? Oxen, he can he can undo that right now with a blink of his eye. Oxen, can he? Yeah, undo the darkness. I think it takes two hours to dispel darkness. Oh, I thought you could dispel like just like light and dark. You can dispel whenever you want. Uh, I cast for I don't know my for me. I think it I cast, cast for how many hours? I, I, I cast phantasmal force to make it seem like the darkness has gone away. <laughs> <laughs> oh, so you oh, interesting. Okay. So you did another layer of magic on it. Interesting. Okay, all right. So he I guess he's gonna do a save. I mean, yeah, see whether or not he falls for your illusion. Um D twenty. To be crazy. Well, he's definitely going to save with 15. All right. So he doesn't, he sees basically that there's 
it's coming in and out of being clear and being dark at the same time. It looks like he tainted the object. I and he says it's a holy relic that was held for eons to prevent evil from getting for, to it. It's been safe and secure. You have come here to steal it. I, we just, for what I just, reason? To give to a demon? Well, no, we didn't know that. We you didn't, didn't know it was a demon? Well, we know we didn't go seeking an alliance with a demon. We were helping Reverend Pat Paddington. He's the, the demon's one that sent us here. So you're on a pilgrimage for a demon? No. We got locked in a room. I have no idea what this is. I don't know where I'm at. We just wanted to get away from the demon. He says you must yeah, go to you, trial. Can you help us kill the demon? Trial. He tells you to turn around and start marching. He says pick up the orb. And start marching back down the hallway which you came. I'm gonna try and do charm person on him. I know it's a long it's gotta be a long shot, but okay, all right. All right. Uh you gotta try to charm an angel. That's what we're doing today. Well, I'll see if it works. I don't think it will. I mean he has to roll like a two, man, not the pass. You rolled a five? You got it close, but didn't work. <laughs> yeah, he's he's gonna he's gonna march your you straight back down the hallway. Um, uh, yeah. Okay. All right. Go back down the hallway. All right. <laughs> oh, okay. um, um, I say, you know, it's it's just it takes like a little while for the spells to go into full effect. So it'll be back right as rain real soon. All right. Yeah. Oh, oh boy. Uh oh. I can't get this to work. You never had a pimple before? What? What do you talking about? You probably never had a pimple before, being an angel and all. Yeah, I know. Tell you, I I've never been arrested by an angel before either. This is new. Do you, do you just do you just want me to take his head off? I mean. No. Oh, okay. Okay. All right. <laughs> okay. They take you back down the hallway. Ooh, Oxen's out front. Okay. Well, you come all the way back yeah. down the hallway. Ollie. Yeah. Ollie's I'll get in front too. All right. Um, Don't put me in angel. Uh, what? Help me with that mace. I'm I'm staying as far away from the angel as possible. Okay. He uh, marches you back down this area, and basically revealed in front of you is a secret door pops open to the side, like yay. Okay, let's do this. Uh, 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 okay, cool. Um, why is it not being revealed on this sheet? Hey, Rivage, here we go. Why is it not revealed? I just revealed this thing. Oh, come on! Okay, the super secret door. Huh? Boom. The super secret door. I should be revealing. Oh my god, where is it? Why is it not working? Oh my god. I wonder what would have happened if we ran in the other quarter. Uh, we can try to find out. Oh. Oh, this is an old one or something. Maybe I should be on this one. Oh, you know, I got too many tabs open. There's my problem. Let's close this one, close this one. Oh, crap. Okay. All right. Let's take that out. Okay. Oh. Okay, now I don't even have any of the tabs. Let's go back to this. So... Our choices was to fight a demon or fight an angel. Well, no, coward. Let's, let's just keep going the coward route. I think we'll live this way. Okay. All right. Hey, I'm game. Coward's route is filled with life. Is that what you're saying? Okay, let's do this. All right. I'm just trying let's to get the to the hero. Oh, no. Coward lives a thousand lives, a hero only once. This did not work. The Penningtons owe us like 5,000 gold pieces.
Oh, Sorry, well, I kind of want that. Something Music. happened. This sucks. Okay, wait. I'm almost there. Dude tried to blind us. Okay, cool. All right, let's do this. Let's try to do the. Let me see if it comes up now. Yay! Okay, cool. All right. Now, oh. uh, yeah. Okay. I see it. Imagine how much damage that thing does. Oh, so, yeah. Okay. I'm going to have to share that tab. And I am sharing that tab. There's a door. He marches you down. Whoa, Control Z. Um, he yeah. marches you down. And, um, and he says, you're entering into the special chambers. He says, you must remove your shoes. Okay. I just It's a sacred place. You cannot have your shoes on. All right. But you can carry them, but you cannot have them on. No problem. I'm happy to take my shoes. I just want I just want to understand. I can okay. have everything else on me, just not my shoes. Just not your shoes. You have to be barefoot. I I take my shoes off. Okay. It takes a while. Is it? How long does it take? I, it, I'm wearing armor, so I, whatever. That is. <laughs> take my shoes. <laughs> okay. But yeah, yeah, I do that. Okay. How about Oxen? Is he taking his shoes off too? I mean, his is like kind of slipper elf boot type things, whatever. I mean, it's not that yeah. much. You know what I'm Fairly easy, right? The door opens. Obviously, it's a secret passage door. It comes down into an area, um, down a few steps. The, the walls are like a pristine marble. It's completely beautiful, right? Um, as you as you're looking, it's like something you've never seen before. I guess I can just move you guys along if you don't mind, right? Um, he is behind you the whole time. You're carrying the sphere. Who's carrying the sphere in their hands? In it the would. Bag? It would what? be it would be me. I'm the okay. one that, that right. had it. You eventually come to a room. Okay. Uh, inside the room, there are three other angels standing before you, right? Um, and looking at them, they're quite spectacular. All right. So this is uh, the first one you see is called Imperial. He stands. He's um. He's, he's embarked in amazing armor. Of course, his wings are not out like that, as you can yeah. imagine. Um, the other one is um, uh, this guy who uh, looks formidable. Of course, once again, he's got double wings. He's pretty intense looking, right? And then... The oh, we lost him. <laughs> he probably hit the wrong button. But yeah, but that Dude, but now you and I could chat. Been dead. We would have been dead, man. Yeah. Even if we took out that kid, the other three, we came out the hallway and messed us up. I ain't got crap really for, for spells. Yeah. What like fireball and web? Just about it, right? Well, maybe maybe we can talk our way out of this, but maybe we can get them to help us go kill the demon. Well, okay. Even if we can just get out there and run away, I don't think yeah, the demon's gonna chase. Yeah, or maybe we just stick them on the demon and we we head for the swamp. Even if he does come after us, we'll at least have some spells and we'll have some health back, you know? Yeah. Take him on now. I just didn't want to try and take him on. We got no spells whatsoever. The dude's burning and he's blocking the exit. Yeah, I'm I'm with you. Yeah. Well, it's nice to let the block zombies. Sorry, sorry, I like to add to suspense by accidentally clicking off the beat. <laughs> All right, we figure this will happen. <laughs> it's just stupid, me. Ah! Okay, right. And then the next one, uh, let's try to do him. Oh, by the way, um, while you were gone, all three of the angels bowed down to us and said they'd do whatever we we wanted them to do. Really? No, no. <laughs> what? That's convenient. Okay. <laughs> this one. Also, of course, he's got some kind of flaming sword type thing going oh. on. There's three of them to stand in front of you, right? And they ask for your, they ask for yeah. your, um, what would you say, your, uh, 
confession. Ooh. Ooh. Yes. Okay. Um, I, I looked light about it though. They said, yeah, confess before us. Uh, the last one, obviously he's taking up the rear. He's going to basically, uh, um, stand from behind you. They're very tall. They're like 10 feet tall. They're very big. They're not little angels here. Gotcha. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I'm going to look to Oxen to see if he wants to speak first. And if he doesn't talk in about 10 seconds, then I'm going to launch into my my sob story. <laughs> okay. Go ahead. But I'm waiting to see if Oxen wants to chat. No. No. <laughs> okay. Um, I, smiling, from, I'm just, oh, I'm so honored to be in your presence. Uh, so, what happened was, there's this town, and they needed help. We offered to help the town. There was were rats in there. There was, and we did a great job. We were serving uh, the Church of Light. And then there was this dwarven complex that needed help. We went there and we were able to save that dwarven mine. And I showed them the, um, the, uh, the, the, the Cypress heart that we have. And we were able to rescue this Cypress heart away from that area and save that town and now we we're we are honor bound to take this to the scythian swamp to basically put this evil to, be to bed but on our way on our journey we came across a family the family was uh they were attacked by um orcs and an ogre and goblins and we saved the family then after we saved the family, and this is the God's honest truth, there was this reverend, Reverend Pennington, who was in trouble. And uh, his son was turned into a werewolf. We believe his wife was turning into a werewolf. And he needed help. So um, he's also a priest of, of the light. So we went to the tomb of the fallen light. Um, he said he had to go there to get something to save his wife. So helping this good lawful cleric that's what we did we took them to the tomb the tomb of the fallen light we did not desecrate that temple we did not take anything from that temple except for what he told us to take for that he wanted to take to save his to save his wife uh, we didn't desecrate any of the tombs um we came back then we came back i think something switched in him we sensed he was attracted to some darkness anyway, but when we got down there to his wife, his wife was already dead, and there was a, a demon. The demon did not give us a choice. The demon basically said, I, I wanted something. He did not even tell us what it was, and we were sent away. We didn't agree to serve the demon. We didn't agree to bring anything back to the demon. We showed up here. What we showed up from is this bronze statue holding this orb and i show him the orb we had no idea what this is if this truly is a holy artifact and it truly then it belongs here then it shouldn't go to the demon but you angels angels of goodness you should know where this demon exists because that demon needs to go back to the seventh plane of hell he's too big for us okay um and that's the honest truth now if this we do one, not now if, this if, one angel steps up and he says he speaks the truth i find I, no fault with him now now i say now it is true that when we go adventuring we like to find things to sell it is very very true that um i some people are in it for um doing more good for others sometimes we do good for others but at the end of the day we're looking for a payday that's the honest truth now if this holy artifact belongs here then by all means it should stay here here it is hey apologies we can we can we can make amends 
Okay. But the, another can, angel steps up and says, enough. We've yeah. heard enough. You still have to make amends for what you've done. Someone, somehow, has given this demon access to our temple. You must retrieve something from him. You must slay him. He has something which is very, very important for us. He has acquired, and they put this visual thing in front of you, a, a candle that looks like it's silver. Somehow this has gained him entrance into our temple. You must get this from him. Even if it means destruction of the actual artifact. There's no way he should have this. And then the angel continues by saying, we will send you back from where you came. That is not hard. But you will never come back here. You're not of the order of the silver light. Oh, no, we're not. But we've, but we've served the priests of the silver light. Um, can any one of the four of you come back with us? Because that's a demon. I said, no, this is your journey. This is your quest. Actually, they're putting a quest on you. It's going to be hard to basically break this as far as a spell goes. But you could try. It's going to be a hard saving throw. you got to save at a minus four. Let's see if you can do it. I mean, you could say, yeah, and then walk out if you don't have the quest, and then you guys live happily ever after. So your saving throws are, what, 10 and 11? So it's going to be a 14 and a 15 to get past this thing so you don't have to go fight a demon. So let's see what happens. Give a roll. I, I you, failed. You failed. What about? I, what about I, got the 14 above. I got the 14 just above him. Yeah. Mecha Luck passed. I didn't. No, he didn't. Oh, no, I'm the 15. He, he had 15. Oh, we both, we both failed. You both failed well, it. Yeah. Your well, question. well, I well then, then I turn to Oxen and I say kind of loud, well, so we were going to die anyway fighting the demon. Now we're going to die. So, hey, we got to live like another. 30 minutes, we got to meet some wonderful new friends. It, can we uh, at least rest up and recharge for the we'll, battle ahead? Prepare we will our... tell you exactly who this demon is. His I name is Sonachar. This name... is what he looks like. His name is what? Sonachar. Sonachar. He's a demon lord. He's been infiltrating the actual churches of the Silver Light all throughout the land, spreading plagues and disease. And we know for a fact that he is the one that has the candle of Silver Light. This is your quest and your quest alone. Oh, and hey, and I'm honored. And I want this quest. And I want to see this demon destroyed. But sending us right now to him is just going to ensure his existence further because he's going to wipe us out. Well, we, what need, you need? we need some... We need to get a priest to help us. And we need... We have a priest. You, do, you, do you see the priest? I don't see the priest. You just told me the story of a priest that you went and actually... Where's he? Where's he located? He's he was oh, down there with I, the demon. He was he's down there with the demon. The demons probably has already killed him. Yeah, he's well, I think it's your job to bring him back to the silver light. No one he's said dead. this would be easy. He's dead. How's he dead? You don't know if I, he's dead. You said he was down there with the demon. Yeah, I don't know if he is either. But but uh, the other our other priest friend free is back at um well, he's actually babysitting right now. Babysitting a family. All I don't right. know how I feel like priest will help you in this journey. I think this is between you. You two are the ones that were here. Why should you drag someone else into your penance? This makes no sense just, to me. I mean, you guys are like all these big, bad, holy angels, and you can't even heal us. I can, can heal you. Can what you can, need healed. Yeah, I need 10 hit points. Give me back to 27. Actually, you're at 23 is your max. I thought 27. What happened? I know. It's 23. How do you get 27? 
I don't know. I have twenty three as your max. Um, what level? What level are you? Well, you killed. You knocked out my level. I'm five now, right? Your fifth level, twenty three. He puts Ollie back up to thirty six. You're at max now, right? Okay. So, and that's great. And then, um, do you have any weapons that I could borrow? Like, uh, I look at that guy's big flaming sword. Well, I don't know. If flaming sword's going to work with uh, uh, how, how, how do we bring back the proof if we can't come back here? We will know. If, we will know if it's destroyed. Okay, so as long as we destroy the candle, we're good to go, right? Yes. Oh, so if we don't destroy the demon, we just destroy the candle. They they all look at each other and went, yes. Oh, that that might be doable. All right. Hey. Do it. Huh? Let's do it. Send us back. He turns around and decides one last thing. Uh, one of them walks up and you just have a warhammer, don't you? I have oh one thing I have is weapons. I have a magic warhammer plus one plus two versus undead. I have a continual so I have a sword with continual light, it's not magic, but it's sword with continual light. I have the magic spear plus one, a hand axe, a dagger, and a longbow. But I do have that magic warhammer, yeah. Okay. Magic warhammer plus one? Okay. Yeah. Plus two versus undead, I think. And uh, it's going to be now plus four versus demons. Plus four versus demons? Nice. He just uh, turned around and, um, um, how would you say, punched it. All right? Not that it's like something you fight every day, but you might need to, right? So and they now, hand you a scroll. Hand the, the wizard the scroll. Wizard, uh, it's a yeah. indication yeah. what this is. Like a super recipe or something? No, it's not super recipe. It's a scroll that's uh, 10 foot protection against demons. Basically, gives you a plus two versus all your saving throws and plus two on your attack. But it's a 10 foot radius. It's a scroll. It's only going to last for so long, though. Just nice. why? I just, just let you know. Okay. All right. Mona Doc decides to take you back at this point. Huh? Should we, should we put the orb back where it was? Yeah, he moves you back over here. He makes you put. He they actually won't touch it. Oh, like that's this. that's interesting. They, they tell won't. you guys you have to put it back. All right, I I will. Open. I will. I will open the door. I will put it back. Okay. And that door closes. Yeah. And he goes. Now you just have to leave this domain. So as you walk. Down these smooth marble quarters, he signals from behind for you to go forward. You guys yeah. go forward. You guys go forward, right? Mm -hmm. And eventually, uh, he takes you over to something that looks like it looks like a hole in the ground. It's of complete darkness. Um, and he says, uh, "This is where you leave." What? Okay. Yes. There's All a right. whole darkness. It looks like outer space. There's stars and stuff. It's really weird. Um, hole in All darkness. Right. It's like a black hole or something like that. And he tells you to step into it. All right. I'm going to hold Oxen's hand and we're going to jump in together. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Oh dear! Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah we're gonna, we're gonna, we're gonna, we're gonna hold hands as we jump into the void. Okay, you and jump into the void. I scream. I'm gonna live forever. <laughs> okay, so you jump into the void. The yes. Void of darkness. Nice. Okay, so uh, how do you do that? Let's do this. Uh, boom. Let's do this. 
And geez, we ran down this hallway and jumped through this with the orb. We, we would have been able to give the demon what he wanted. <laughs> we probably would have been able to. Uh, maybe it would have been the end of the world. It was. <laughs> That's consequence is consequence as long as we're rich. Oh, I get a quick kick on a button. Boom. Too funny. Boom. All right, I'm gonna close you. All right. Boom. Boom. Let's go over here. Let's go over. Let's All right. So there's there's a new one. Let's go over here. Put this over here. Ba boom. All right. Let's do this. Let's go share this time instead. Let's close What's this. What's the name of this uh, candle? Huh? What was the name of the candle? What? We just know what it looks like. You just know what it looks like. I don't think there's a name for it. No. Yeah. Get all the candles. Any candle you see, I guess. Right? No kidding, right? Okay. Um. Boom. Let's go back over to here. All right. Uh, all of a sudden. Like, uh, you guys both do a saving throw real quick. Great. Just, yeah, look at you split save on this thing. So that one's here. I failed mine miserably. I did too. You both did? Yes. You both failed your saving throw? Well, I don't see Mechlex. I see, I see mine. I don't see. Mick, are you the right yeah. one? Oh, you're, you're in the other one, Mick. He, 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 he sent another schmeppy look. Link. No. no oh, no. Okay, my bad, my bad. Here it come. Here it come. I gotta find those. I might have to do no. Okay, here we are. Okay. All right. So here's the rolls. D twenty. And yes. Mechalic passes. Okay. Uh just to let you know, um, ooh, four hit points of damage. Uh, poor, it's Ollie, right? Yeah, That's Ollie. Your name. Ollie, your feet hurt like mad. You, all of a sudden, it's like the ground is all hot from being around the demon. You never put your shoes back on. Yeah. So you're just kind of like your feet are like scorched. Yeah, it's yeah. not, not, for some reason, uh, uh, Oxen was smart enough. He jumped over and stood on part of like the webbing or something like this. So yeah, he's not you. like uh he's not his feet are not burning like yours was, just kinda let you know. But I'm gonna so much better off. I'm okay. gonna put I'm gonna put my shoes on. All right. Yeah. When you're gonna put your shoes on, obviously the demon sits there and obviously moves towards you at this point. He's huge, yeah. he's massive. Yeah. Did you bring it? That's what it says. Did you bring it? I, I'm uh, gonna put my shoes on. I'm gonna say, well, we we a little bit of an issue with that. Um, we we were told to provide the riddle of the candle to obtain it, and I don't know what riddle and what can is something about the color and size of a candle. Do you have any idea what he's talking about? Uh, he yells insolence and just takes his giant claw talon and swings out at you, Mechalek. Uh, he's going to hit you with a 23. Striking you for five hit points with the damage straight off the bat. He's mad. For this, you did not bring it. Now you done me. He's just very, oh, wait very minute, loud. Wait a minute, wait a minute. So, 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 so he swung on Oxen, right? Yeah. And he's right next to me. Then I'm going to swing on him, Warhammer. Okay, go hit. Oh God, one! <laughs> I'm gonna pretend like I missed on purpose. Uh, it's in your turn. He's I'm gonna do an assessment. Can I see this candle whatsoever on his garbs of what could be containing the candle? It's not on him. Maybe it's in the room behind him. Yeah. Okay, I sprint. Huh? What'd I you sprint. Say? Ollie's taking swings at him, right? I'm yep. sprinting to the other. Okay, well, I'm actually not going to draw this out because I have time for it. Um, there's a quote unquote uh, a circle 
at the back of the room. I mean, you could sit there and you could see it. It's got a pentagram in it. It's got the candle sitting in the center of it. Lit. Oh. Great. M middle Casting fireball on that candle. Oh, cool. Well, here. I guess I'll do a save. See if it. It's magical, but I don't think it's going to be able to. It's a wax candle. You would think it'd just blow up, wouldn't it? We'll see what happens. What is it? 2d6? 4d6? How many sixes do you get? Uh, it's like five times. Fifth level, 5d6. Yeah. So it's going to yeah. be 17 hit points with the damage. All right. Yeah, even if with the save, it's not going to matter. It's a candle. Okay, boom. It failed horribly. All right. The candle catches on. It just blows up, turns to wax bit everywhere. The demon screams in horror after you doing this. He gets completely furious. Furious. Oh, my God. Like, you touched his stuff, man. Why would you do this? He starts running to you in the back. Oh, so now his back is to me. Nice. Yes, his back is to you, but clearly he's going for good old yeah. oxen. Yes, it's not a, It's not pretty. Yeah. I get to be reading that scroll as he's coming to me. Okay. Okay. Ali, I guess you get to make an attack on this thing because it's turned to me. All right. Go. So, so do I get any pluses from attacking from behind him? Two plus two plus whatever you're for. So it's a plus six. Plus six. Yeah. Another one. Oh. oh. That's what are the odds? I don't know. <laughs> one four hundred five percent. One hundred twenty. One twenty. Yeah. <laughs> oh my god! All right, so uh, oxen, you're casting a spell. That protection scroll. Okay. So technically, he can't get within ten feet of you. Oh, All right. Nice. Yeah, so he's he's cannot touch you. So even though he moves and tries to get close, something prevents him from doing so, right? And uh, you really don't know how long this thing's gonna last, but you know that you two guys so he's gonna turn around and immediately go for Ox Ollie at this point. Yeah. Ollie's being struck at. That's kind of what you would think would happen, right? Yeah. So let's do this. One, two, three. All right. Boom. Roll. Twenty six. That's going to be honors. That would be a hit. All right. Oh, no way. One hit point with the damage. All right, just scraping, scrapes the top of your helmet. You feel yeah. a dent in the side of your head. I am swinging back. This this better yeah. not be another one. If, I hope it's a one, because that would be funny. Oh, uh, it's 14. That, that, so 14 plus uh, Four? 5. Um, cool. well, you oh, that's going to hit. That's going to hit. It's going to hit. Go ahead. Plus, plus six, yeah. Yeah, so Go for actually, damage. On actually, it's plus 6. So it's actually... Um, yeah. All right. So damage is going to be Yeah, add the uh, four add the four to your damage though, because it's yeah. plus four against demons, so yeah. And and also my strength. So that's eleven. Wow. All right. You crack him really hard and you you see where you hit? It's like yeah. he's kind of fiery red. So when you hit him, this blue streak kind of moves across him. It almost looks like a bruise, but it freezes when it okay. hits him. Totally frustrating. Of course, this is gonna be a slug fest. He's like and, really and, and 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 uh and when I hit him, I'm gonna go stone a char, stone a char. <laughs> <laughs> well, tech, it's now Oxen's turn. I don't know what you're doing within the cube or circle. I have I have four vials of holy water. How many can I throw at a time? One. All right, checking the holy water. Em. All right, roll roll to hit. It's not gonna be hard though, because it's gonna be a splash. So I, I think if you roll fourteen, well. Damn. Okay. Never mind. Five, yeah. So I, four, I was going to say, 15, huh? 15. I said 14. What do you have? You rolled a nine, though. All right. Your first yeah, one, yeah. you threw, you, you kind of went high on it, splashed over his head. You didn't even see it. The vial breaks down around where the Sarah dead body is, right? So sure. he's making another attack on um, Ollie. Swinging hard, nineteen. Oh, that's definitely going to hit. That's going to hit me. Yeah. Yeah. He's he's scratching hard. Five hit points of the damage. So he grabs his towel and he comes in. He grabs into your plate mail, trying to damage it. Yeah. Gotcha. He's, he's super furious at this point. Yeah. Uh, Oxen, if you're throwing from behind, you get a plus two on the throw. I don't know what your nice. dex is. Oh, well, what then I hit previous time. I got a plus two on the decks, and then because of protection thing, I've got a plus two to attack. 
and then plus two behind would be six on nine, 15. That would have hit. Nice. Okay, roll, roll 1d6 to see how much damage you did. Nice. I got to clear up my thing. I don't know how to clear it out. Okay, don't count this roll. Boop. Okay, just hit well, six. 1d6. 1d6? Yeah. yeah. Five. Five. Okay, cool. All right. Down to seven. Okay. Cool. All right, nice. Yeah. All right. I think it was uh, Hockley's turn. Yeah, he just smacked me. All right, so now he's facing me. So now I just get the D20 plus, what, six, right? Yeah. Yeah. A two. Gosh. Oh, it's hysterical. Why is that so funny? I don't know. Anyways, uh, yeah, it's not looking good. This uh, is what I'm built for. That's what you're built for. That's the way it goes. Now, Taking does he damage. attack? I forgot the orders. So it's him, him, them. So it's no, it's moving. me, and then it's um, uh, then it's um, oxen. So Mick gets to go. Then then he gets to go again. You're throwing yeah. another vial. How many vials of holy water did you have? Three. I have four. Now I have okay, three. So... No, you threw. 19. Oh yeah, you have three. Nineteen's nice. going to hit definitely. Splash this. What'd you get for damage? Two. Two. Okay. All right. Yeah, he's hating this. It's splashing and burning him all over his back. So uh, let's see what he's going to do now. Oh, he gets... oh, God, D20. Let's see what happens here. That totally misses you. Nice. He took a plus seven to hit. That stinks. All right. Holly, you're up. Let's see Don't that big charge. Demon Lord. I'm going to try to stick this Warhammer right up his ass. <laughs> plus two to hit. whatever yours plus four or six. Oh, that's gonna hit that's nice. gonna hit nice. yes okay go ahead aim for, for your the damages ass the whole time um so this plus six three plus six is nine uh he's visibly hurt and kind of ha hating life right now oh man we're, we're what we're up to 27 nice yeah that oh, you could counter yeah. All right. 17, that's a hit. Right? That's a hit. Yes. Four hit points. Oh, it's burning. One of his arms is kind of dissolved off the side of his body. Oh, nice. Oh, yeah. He's feeling it now. He takes another swing at a... All right, here we go. Boom. God, he misses again. Not very good at his job. All right. Uh, Warhammer trying to break his other arm. Man. <sighs> Man. Miss. Not good. Because what? Yeah, four plus six is ten. Out of ten's like I hit him. This has got to do his thing. All right. This time I'm going to throw my dagger. One D6 plus one. Okay. So 14. That's gonna miss. His AC is like 17. He's oh, huge. Wow. Yeah. He's gonna make another attack on Ollie. Obviously unable to hit uh oxen. So oh god. I don't know what your hit points are because he's chopping at you. 22. That's gonna be definitely be a hit. He's going to do one hit point with the damage. I guess he's doing it with his bad arm. Just slap some slop on you. I guess this is horrible. I don't know where are you at with your hit points. Um, Ollie. My, I am. Oh my I'm at twenty four. Okay, good. You're fine. All right. Yeah. So basically, it's up to oxen at this point. Do I have to check that last vial? Well, I'm. I get a swing too, on right? Yeah. Oh, nice. Got okay. it. Yeah. A miss all right that's a miss well i get to um i'm gonna do a d20 plus six on him yeah man all right oh my god this is crazy all right he's gonna do his roll oh uh, he, he hit you again this time tearing at you doing four hit points with the damage all right i'm down to 20 um yeah. I have an idea, uh, Mick. 
So he can't get him within 10 feet of you, right? All right. Um, well, I know that he came down towards me and turned and turned on you. Yeah, but um, I've got an idea. I don't know if this is this is some shenanigans. Um, I'm going to well next time when it's my turn. Okay, so um, is it my turn now, or is it what? Is it his turn? Yeah, I think it's yours or Ollie's. Oh, so I think it's it's Oxen's turn. I think at this point. Oh, it's Oxen. Okay. Yeah, I guess he start chucking first. I guess that's what yeah. it was. Go ahead. Yeah, go 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 ahead, Mick, and then I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna circle around. I'm gonna get within your 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 spell realm. I think he's gonna get an Let's attack try. opportunity. You try to get around him. Just letting you know. I'm gonna I'm gonna try and jump on his back and throw the staff around his throat <laughs> and kind of hold it and choke it. This would be great. Go ahead, roll d20. No. no. But when yeah. he but when but when he moved towards him, does he feel that force that that bubble? Well, I think when he tried to get towards him, he was pushed back as much as he was next to him. Oh, I gotcha. So, so Oxen tried to get closer, but he moved away okay. because he got close to it. But it, it just kind of pushed him back. He got repelled. Okay. Why does he keep trying to get on? You can't get on him. You can't. Okay. There you go. That's okay. Better. So 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 <laughs> so in not getting an attack of opportunity, well, if facing him, can I move? Can I be fighting him and move to here and you know swing and move? Yeah. Okay. So that's what You're I'm gonna facing do. Facing him gonna, the whole time. I'm gonna yeah. face him the whole time, but I'm just basically I'm just working my way around to oxen. Okay. I'm I'm not I'm not gonna get into the is into the okay thing. Gotcha. Right oh, that's another miss. But right. I'm but I'm keeping his attention on me. Okay, that's fine. Uh he makes a really, really interesting move at this point. Um, yeah. He shrinks. Snap on him! All right. And immediately runs to the circle that was basically caught on fire. Where it had that pentagram thing on the floor. He has a pouch. He's pulling it out. It's got some kind of blue powder on it. And he tries to whip it around into a circle format. Same time, the big puff of smoke blows up into the air, and he disappears. Away from view. Ooh, interesting. Okay. Well, I'm going to immediately go over to that pentagram circle yep. and start kind of peeing on it and kind of like scuffing it up so the diagram gets all messed up and it no longer works. Okay, fair enough, all right? Yeah, so it's all slimy and messed up and obviously it's no longer functional, I guess you might say. Yeah, so, yeah, it's out of commission. It's gone. Okay. You killed the Reverend, didn't you? You killed no, Reverend Pennington. We never, we yeah. never set it on fire. Oh, I set yeah, it on fire. You, oh, <laughs> No, if I remember correctly, he said, you fools, you killed us all. And then I said, no, just you. And then I lit him on fire. With a yeah, yeah, yeah. See, okay. I thought so. I uh, thought okay. I a story going hey. like that. Uh, I, I think there's some cataclysmic stuff going on. Okay. Dark days. All right. Well, um, um, so what's down here? Uh, dead cat, dead cat, dead dog, dead deer, Sarah dead. No, but what's down um, in this area here, or is there nothing? Is that a wall? Oh, there's something there. It's a crypt. Yeah. Oh. oh. Yes. Let me uh, go first with my... Oh, yeah. Yeah, that's true. You've got the... Okay, fair enough. But the angels oh. should be happy because the demon's gone and the candle's gone. Yep. Quest complete. To some degree, right? Yeah, we didn't die by either one. <laughs> Ninth level. Uh oh. Um. Now this is where we die. Okay. Um. um yeah. There's a left. There's a right. Mm -hmm. Um. I'm gonna follow oxen. Okay. All right. So we'll just do this. 
Got my sword of continual light out. Do we hear anything? Nothing. It's dead quiet. Yes, yeah, so he's probably killed anything that's alive. It's the grave of Ellsworth Pennington. I mean, it's a coffin, sarcophagus. Good old Ellsworth. It's in stone, but you can assume there's a coffin underneath the giant stone slab. Yeah. Well. Is this the source of all evil? Well, are there are are there the scripts on the tomb like the um the from the service of light, you know, like there were on those others? Yeah, it, it actually has the chapel of light inscriptions, which is the candle that's floating with the flame. Yes. Yeah. All around in the base. And then he's probably, he was the original preacher of yeah. the actual chapel of silver light in this area. Yeah, so we probably don't want to mess with that. You sure? Yeah, we'll take it out. Let's open it. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> We're going to open it and look in. Are you going to open it and take a look at it? Yeah. That's yeah. what Mick said. Mick said oh, open it. Uh, you don't have to twist my arm. I'm, I'm pretty damn curious. Um. <laughs> This is where we die. <laughs> oh, I got a good feeling about this. Yeah, but and and that spell's still on you, right? Yeah, I think. So oh. yeah, so so we're not trying to 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 break it. We're we're trying to open it up just to make sure that Ellsworth Pennington is buried um, yeah. safely, humanely, yeah, right. and, and no one is yeah, not this corpse. We're not trying to desecrate. We're just trying to make sure that the, the, the body's at rest. We're doing this reverently. Okay. Uh, as you start to open the thing, mm -hmm. um, oh, it's past nine o'clock. All right. So we're just going to uh, freeze here for now. <laughs> uh, yeah. Yeah. Uh, great. Uh, this is awesome. You're you're down here in the dregs of it all. If I do a head count on the hit points here, you're stuck at what? Oh, let me tell you. Um, you're I am. No, thank no, you. I'm at I'm at twenty. I am I'm at twenty okay. thirty six. Oxen's at twenty three. He's fine. Yep. He just burned one spell. No, two spells. No, well, fireball, phantasmal force, right? And darkness. And Which darkness. You are, and jar. Sure. Huh? And shark. <laughs> and what was the other one? And my arm trying charm. to charm an angel. You try to charm an angel. Yeah, that didn't work out, but that was a good idea. That was cool. All right. Hey, yeah. It's worth a shot. Okay. So this is kind of what we're looking at, right? And currently you're opening a crypt in the bottom under a church. Without having a priest around. Yeah. Just thought we'd just sum it up. But this has been fun. All right, gentlemen. Have an excellent evening. Until next time. I hopefully I was really ill on Thursday. I just there's no way I could have played. I was yeah. just like I didn't even put out a memo, which is no worries. No, yeah, you didn't send one. And Thursday night I went to go get Graham at NC State, so um, oh, was, okay. it actually worked out. Pretty it would have been well. a mess anyways. But yes, yeah. and that was the. Uh, you guys are in the drinks of what was the other thing? The um... oh. Uh, we're doing a lot. That's a different. That's a different adventure. That's the. Uh, we are, we're, 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 we're the first goal thing. is to take the Cypress Heart to the Scythian yes. Scythian Swamp. Right. Then we're trying to save the the the, the farmer and his family. Then right. that led to helping the Penningtons, which <laughs> then led us to fighting a demon, which led us to going court with some angels. Then back to fighting a demon. Exactly. And yes. the demon ran away. And the demon ran away. And now we're and making the sure demon we're, ran away. And we're making sure Elfler's Pennington is buried properly. Yes. But overall, I think 
Small side of everything, you know, all things considered. Sure, we, we killed a priest, but uh, we yeah, saved we just, a family. We just killed one an angel. His family, well, his yeah. wife's dead, Amen. their kid's dead. There's a lot of dead in there, but yeah, overall, yeah, that's kind of where we are, gentlemen. Actually, there's nice. Mike Pennington still alive. He's got a son that's with the family, remember? The boy, yes, he's with the family. All right, cool. Now, at least we have a direction. You guys are going to find out what's in the crypt next time we get together. Until then, you right. gentlemen, have an excellent evening. Have your yep. fun. Keep in touch. Bye. See you.